what's going on basically very back at you my name's ethan and i'm just kind of going to give you an update about what i've been doing i know it's been a little while since i've uploaded anything so as you can see behind me there's quite a bit of stuff in the shop that i'm trying to get up to date on as far as with the videos and then as well as bring you all along a little bit better than what i have been in the past is it's kind of i'm starting to turn over a new year here and i want to post a lot more content so as you can see there's a lot going on in such a small shop and we're going to try to walk you all through this here in a minute and that way you can understand what uh, what we got going out all right coming into the shop here as you can see we've got the track saw out doing a little bit of plywood work today uh building this built in right here out trying to get everything uh, i guess you could say mocked up because this is actually going to be there's two more of these cubbies like this one and that one there's going to be two more on the ends to kind of go right here and then also on the other side right in there so actually i'm going to have to move this to the front of the shop up here to even there's winston to even finish it uh because it is so tight so that's what i'm trying to get accomplished today is try to get these other two uh cabinets knocked out and that way i can move on to just doing the the face frames on all these and so uh, they wanted the the client wanted beadboard here and in the center part where there's going to be uh, a seat and then down below here there's going to be actually drawers in here and in there and so uh, up above is just going to be cubbies and then i probably should show you all a sketch of this but anyway these are going to be doors right here big door small door on each end and then the cabinet the other two cabinets that i'm finishing out today are going to be the same so trying to get those every single one of these cabinets is going to have adjustable shelves in them you can see the pins there and uh so it'll be really nice whenever we get it done i never have done a a project like this i guess you could say and so i'm excited to actually try to get this thing done and i'm going to try to use my uh fuji sprayer and the turbine down there and to spray it and because that's been the only i think i've only used the thing once before and that was on stain and this is going to be painted white so using three quarter inch birch plywood as you can see here this stuff is not cheap and uh it's definitely a godsend this track saw is and i actually got the long track down here uh borrowed that from a buddy of mine so uh it makes it really nice because i've just got the little shorty over there i don't do a lot of cabinet work so i didn't i hadn't justified this purchase down here yet as far as the big track but i might be doing that if i take on any more of this type stuff because uh, it definitely makes it a lot easier rather than putting it on the good old powermatic here um not to say you can't do it but it's a lot more troublesome and i feel it's a lot safer to break sheet goods down with the track saw and uh to be honest with you i just enjoy using my festival stuff i mean who wouldn't so anyway I'm trying to get everybody caught up on what i'm doing i'll bring you back whenever i get the other two cabinets done then we'll go hey guys that. i'm going to come back at you and give you a little update about what i've gotten done today it's uh it's moved on pretty good here you can probably see in the background right there that uh i've gotten the two other cases done and i'll flip the camera around here and let you all see kind of what i'm looking at and what i've done all right so here they are as you can kind of see right here i did cut a little bit of a rabbit in here and then recessed the shelves to sit down below that that way whenever i put the back down on this it's going to be support so you kind of get to see uh that a little bit behind the scenes type stuff as far as that goes next uh we're going to be taking the beadboard and then i got some backing back here that i'm going to use and i will be putting that in on that and yes i did craig jig those before anybody says anything uh you know cabinet work that's just the way that i've seen that was going to work the best i guess you could say so um you know the biggest thing is it's still a strong joint it's still going to hold up to everything uh that that these are going to be put through and probably some more uh you know it is what it is and some people are going to agree with that and some people aren't so i do have to put the pinholes 
in these as well. Uh, so I'll let these dry up overnight because I did put glue in them on top of the Craig jig. So that way there's a little bit more strength there as well. But that's that's what I got done today. So uh, cutting these out, like I said, uh, without this without this track saw right here, I mean, uh, this kind of work would be pretty hard uh, just due to the fact of the sheer size of the sheets and everything. So got them done. Hopefully um, the next time I come back at you, we'll be doing some face frames. And then after that, we'll be doing doors because it does have one door here and then one door, door there. And there is two, four, six, eight to do. So quite a bit of doors to build, but we'll get it done and I'll bring you back whenever we kind of do that. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Tune in next time. We'll try to update you on the rest of this case work. And if you haven't already, like, share, comment below, and go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well. Thanks.